one dimensional proton and carbon 13 NMR spectra give us information about the number and different types of protons and carbons present in a molecule. Homonuclear and heteronuclear two dimensional NMR techniques show correlations between protons and carbons, helping us to form small molecular fragments which are then combined with the help of HMPC to get the whole structure. So now we have the skeleton of the molecule, or you can say that we have the whole structure of the molecule, but that is not the end of the story. We may still lack some information about the molecule. If the molecule has some stereocenters, we may still need to find the stereochemical identity of the molecule. And that is done with the help of another 1D and 2D NMR technique, which we call the nuclear overhauser effect, the 1D NOE or the nuclear overhauser effect spectroscopy, NOSI, which is a two dimensional NMR technique. So we will see in this session how a 2D NOSI spectrum gives correlations between protons, helping us to find the relative orientation of these nuclei in the molecule and helping us find the stereochemical identity of the molecule. So let's begin. Nuclear Overhauser Effect or NOE is a technique which shows dipolar coupling or through space correlations between protons and that makes it a homonuclear technique. It's a very important tool in structural analysis as I told you earlier once you have the complete structure or the skeleton of the molecule this technique will tell you about the stereochemistry of the molecule. Unlike cozy spectrum which gives correlations or connectivities between protons which are close together through bond, this technique shows interaction between protons which are closer together in the space. They may be more than three, four or five bonds away from each other, but if they are close together in space, you will see correlations between those protons and from that you can find the relative orientation of these protons inside the molecule. So again, this is employed in the very last stages of the structural in investigation because once you have the skeleton, then the last thing you should know about the structure is the three-dimensional molecular geometry or the stereochemistry of the molecule. So let's see with the help of an example how we can read a 2D nosy spectrum and how we can get information from the spectrum. So here is a two-dimensional nosy spectrum of a steroidal skeleton. You can see this molecule on the right here and we have the nosy spectrum. As I told you earlier, it's a homonuclear technique. So you will see protons on both the axes. So you can see on the vertical axis, the proton scale and down here on the horizontal axis, we also have the proton scale. The spectrum looks very much like a cozy spectrum which if you remember has a diagonal that runs right across the spectrum so you see a diagonal here as well which shows the proton signals present in the molecule and then above and below you see cross peaks or contours which shows correlations between uh, protons coupled to each other but this time the coupling is not scalar coupling it's a dipolar coupling and this coupling is because of the proximity of the protons in space not through bonds right so let's see how we can read it we will we will read it in the same way as we have done the cozy spectrum so let's see and find some correlations so Starting with this proton that resonates at about 2.7 ppm, if you go to the right, you will see that this line passes through three protons. One resonating at about 2.03 ppm, the other resonating at about uh, 1.82 ppm, and the other resonating at about 
1.1 or 1.15 ppm all right so this proton 2.7 ppm has three protons in the vicinity that is 2.03 2.1.83 and 1.13 or something but these protons are not close together through bonds they may be uh, several bonds away from each other but uh, in the space because of the three-dimensional structure of the molecule they may be closer together in space so they can sense each other they can talk to each other and you will see the correlations here in the nosy spectrum here's another correlation of this proton that resonates at about 2.25 ppm if we go to the right and it connects this proton here and um, this is the same proton um, that is resonating at about 1.82 ppm and you can also form the squares just like we did in cozy spectrum so you will see these correlations here as well you see the same three correlations on the vertical axis and then you can form squares as well uh, here is another correlation that is between proton at 1.8 ppm and the proton at about uh, if you go down here on this proton scale this is about 1.3 ppm so the proton at 1.3 ppm is close together with the proton at 1.8 ppm um, then we have this proton at uh, extreme right this looks more or less uh, like a methyl group and most probably uh, uh, from the chemical shift values you can see it's a methyl group and uh, you can see in the structure as well we have three methyl groups so if you go down from the diagonal it meets this proton which resonates at about 1.28 ppm or 1.27 ppm then if you go down it meets this contour which is the proton at 1.4 ppm and you go further down it meets here that is the proton at 2.3 ppm and then you go down here that is uh, sorry this is the 2.03 ppm proton and this one is about 2.27 ppm and down here it meets this proton which resonates at about 2.72 ppm so this method which resonates at about uh, say 1.05 ppm uh, is correlated in space with one two three four five protons so you can see that these these methyl groups they are surrounded by these ch groups and the ch2 protons and so they can show correlations with all of these protons now the structure that you see here is drawn in 2d uh, with the cyclohexane rings uh, drawn in a two-dimensional fashion but if you draw them in the correct chair form then you can actually see which protons will be close together in space so let's see the 3d form of this molecule so here it is now you can see the four rings that is ring a b c and d right and if you draw these uh, protons and methyl groups in um, uh, in this chair form you all know that some of these groups are axially oriented and others are equatorially oriented and you also know about one three diaxial interaction in chair forms so uh, if you have two axial groups at position one and three relative to each other then they will be close together in space and that is what we call one three diaxial interaction so the same phenomena is observed here and that is what we observe through um, nosy interactions so let's take an example of uh, this methyl group here which is axially oriented and this is the carbon of a 10 of the steroidal skeleton so it's a c10 methyl group and here at c5 we have hydrogen atoms this is a ch they are close together uh, through bonds like one two three and four bonds away from each other but you can see this is axially oriented and it is projected upwards and this is axially oriented and projected downwards so in space they are away from each other similarly this methyl group is 
away from the second methyl group at this position one which is axial on oriented downwards but this methyl group has the same projection as this hydrogen and if you look at them they are one two and three they are at one and three position relative to each other so these two protons the protons of the methyl group and the hydrogen of the ch will show correlation between each other in the nosy spectrum similarly um, these two protons this one and this one they belong to the same chair and you can see again they are at one and three position relative to each other and they are projected in the same direction both are axially oriented and so these two hydrogens will show nosy correlation similarly this methyl group and this hydrogen they are projected downwards so they will be close together in space and again they are at one and three position relative to each other so these two will show interaction and similarly these two protons will also show a nosy interactions so and also and this methyl group will show interaction with this proton so this proton is a nosy correlated with this um, methyl group and so and also this hydrogen will show nosy interactions with this methyl group here so from all these nosy correlations or interactions you can find the relative orientation of all of these uh, protons and methyl groups and then uh, of course from the orientation you can find the absolute configuration and the stereochemical identity of the molecule so we are done with almost all of the techniques that are basically required for structure elucidation through nmr spectroscopy we have discussed all the one dimensional techniques and the two dimensional techniques the very basic two dimensional techniques required for structure elucidation we also have some other 2d techniques but uh, uh, with these techniques that we have discussed here you can get to the whole structure of the molecule and also find the stereochemistry so see you next time with another series of lectures thank you so much and see you later